Hello from Hoi An. We just landed a couple of hours ago. There's a lot of beeping going on. I'm standing on our balcony. I've just come out. Literally just checked into the room. Just come out to look at the view and it is stunning. They've upgraded our room to the top floor to a river and town view. Let me show you. It's kind of golden hour right now as well. It's absolutely incredible. So the hotel we're staying in is definitely an upgrade from last time. It's called the Rivertown Hoi An Resort and Spa. And it is just so nice. Look, they've even left us a little plate of fruit. I'm not sure how you eat rambutan without a knife though. Mm. I also don't know what this is, the brown stuff. What's a green, that's not an apple, is it? I don't know. Mm. Anyway. <laughs> first things first, even though the sun has literally just set, we've come down to use the pool. Well, the lights have just gone off. We um, had a voucher for 10% off um, in the restaurant at the hotel just for the day that you check in. So we're actually going to go and have dinner um, in the hotel, which is something that we never normally do. But this apparently is the fifth top rated restaurant um, in the whole of Hoi An on TripAdvisor and their menu looks really good. Um, we need to have a quick dinner because we had a quick swim <laughs> and then we have a lantern boat ride booked for 9pm thanks to Get Your Guide which is only about £4 per person which is epic so we've only got about two hours to do all of this and get to the boat ride. <laughs> these crackers are but I think they're like the Vietnamese version of prawn crackers because we seem to get them everywhere and um, they've told me that they're vegetarian. They're black sesame seed crackers with like a sweet chilli sauce I think or maybe a chilli sauce. Oh thank you. That's huge. Well, thank you it looks amazing. Wow. Is Excellent. it a platter? Yeah a platter. Thank you. Thank you very much. Sorry my mouth is full. I've already started tucking in. This is incredible. They made a vegan version of the rice pancakes. Um, Hoi An style though this time. Yeah. Got a tofu sandwich. She told me these were appetizers. This always happens here. They're huge. <laughs> Just supposedly ordered two appetizers. That's um, chicken rice. And he got um, the, what's it, what is it? The Hoi An platter yeah. of like all the must try foods. That's right, local dish. But um, this is a lot of food. <laughs> But the thing is, the dishes are like literally three or four pounds each. Um, well, yours are more expensive, but yeah. We're just walking out of the hotel. Look at how stunning it is. It looks even prettier at night time. This pool's actually open till 10 p.m., so for another couple of hours, but it is quite cold in there. Um, it was cold when we got in, actually, at about five. It's quite a long path to walk down. Um, they've got a spa here called Lemongrass Spa, and it actually smells of lemongrass when you walk past it as well. They've also got a fitness centre. This is my kind of hotel, like, honestly. <laughs> this is so pretty. You're only allowed to walk or cycle through here, no cars allowed, which makes it so much nicer. Look at these Vietnamese hats. I already really love Hoi An. It's so calm and so peaceful here in comparison to Hanoi. And it's just got an entirely different, like, chilled beach town sort of vibe. Not that I've seen the beach yet or I'm that close to it. So many of these, like, lantern shops dotted around and they all do lantern making classes, which is actually something that I wanted to do. Um, I thought most bikes weren't allowed here. Okay. ladies just follow you <laughs> and they don't leave you alone <laughs> we've just picked up our tickets we're following this man who's speeding off he's handed us this i guess this is our own lantern to set off we've got two bottles of water as well all for like four quid per person and a boat ride it's insane right oh my god stop here don't move this boat this is so scary the guy when he goes left to right the whole boat rocks i don't like little boats but this looks like cake. <laughs> I think it's the lanterns that we see. Where's he gone? He's gone left. And the man's just lit the candles. This boat is very rocky, and I honestly feel quite terrified at this point. The lanterns go straight into the water, just like that. Oh my god, look at the sweat on me. That was the scariest thing ever. I love water and all that, but I hate little boats. Watch how this gives me vertigo tomorrow. That was really scary because it kept rocking and every time 
I went, <gasps> the guy just like rocked it even more because he thought it was hilarious. Um, it was really scary getting out. Like, yeah, you yeah, like, it was, yeah, it was a little bit scary, not much, not as much as you made out. It's me. because, look, yeah, let me show them. But look, these are the boats and you literally just have to climb out of them and there's no steps when you get out. I love me a continental breakfast. Give me all the gherkins. Jas has got a whole plate full of <laughs> eggs. You got confused, I think you buy me too many eggs. <laughs> We're having a nice and relaxed day today because I woke up with such a sore throat. I don't know what it is. I think it's the extreme heat and cold. But one of the things that Hoi An is known for are all the tailor shops that line the streets and people actually fly here from Australia and nearby countries just to get items of clothing made because apparently it's really really cheap and you can get obviously custom made clothing to fit you. My sister and my brother-in-law um, were in Vietnam a few years ago and they did the same thing so the hotel gave us some recommendations for some tailors because they were saying that the quality of everything isn't the same. So we're going to go and check it out. Jas definitely wants to get a suit made. That's what my brother-in-law got made. Um, I have a few things in mind, but I haven't actually looked at any designs, so I don't know. One thing that I really do want is a silver blazer, a silver cropped blazer. <coughs> I've been looking on ASOS. They're over 30 quid and it's not something I'm going to wear like more than about 10 times in life. So if I can get one made really cheaply here, that would be epic. But we're just going to go and have a little wander. I think it's just on the edge of the old town and just have a look. I was chucking it down this morning, but now it's completely dried up. So I'm hoping it stays that way. This is our first stop, Kimmy's, which is one of the recommended places. This is really cool. So first you take a seat and they talk you through the options. This is really cool, right? So you get given an iPad, you select your category, which I now can't get back to. And you get, oh, this is like the blazer category. So, yeah. Oh, okay. So this is for this one? The, for the first one. For the first one. Oh, the short one. That's one I want in silver. In a plain silver. Plain silver. Come here. Ah, yes. Oh, you want to buy wool but in silver color. What do you like? Just a material. Yeah. So we have. You can go with this material. Yeah. Mm. Okay, looks alright. But um, so what's the next thing? With this Just color. Like, let's say if I. Is the next stage too right? Oh no, I think this is too grey. Um, colours. Yeah. I want like well, really bright silver. silver. This one. Yeah. And then yeah. We um, the yeah. Yeah. Is it all? Uh, Okay. So I've just picked the lining for the blazers. This is one fabric that I want. I really want a cropped blazer. Another blazer I've gone for in this sort of shade. And these are the linings that you can choose. I've gone for black. Yeah, that's really nice actually. I like that red one up there as well. That's really nice. The men's blazer. I'm not actually thinking maybe something really bold. Um, I just don't know if that would look nice in this blazer. No. No? Too oh, much, isn't it? Yeah. Having two different consultations. Yeah. I am, oh, I'm really loving like the bold prints. I'm just trying to figure out if I'd actually wear these at home, you know? I mean, I would, I love anything crazy, but it's a lot to take in. So we're not actually in the old town. We are just on the outskirts of it, and all of these shops are tailor shops. Um, they were really nice in Kimmy's and they definitely knew what they were talking about. The only thing is, my silver blazer was working out to be $140, which is about four or five times what I wanted to spend. <laughs> so that's not gonna happen. We're gonna check out one more shop that's a recommendation um, and then just see. But the men's suits I thought were quite cheap. $130 upwards for a custom made suit is incredible because that's something that you're gonna wear regularly as opposed to a silver blazer. Thank you. Then you can show, um, show basically us. like this sort of fabric, but yeah. just short, just yeah. under yeah. the bust. Yeah. Oh, 70. Okay. Yes. <laughs> That's, uh, ah, okay. And this is our final stop. We're just going to go to three different places and compare the prices. I'm about to get run over here. Can we cross? Oh, God. 
We're going to BB. Just made a pit stop for a drink, well, really just to use the toilet. <laughs> and I'm making my way through the weird and wonderful coffees here. So I've asked for this cream cheese coffee, but with soy milk instead of cow's milk. And I really hope it's all right. We've only ordered one for now. Jas is gonna try it first. Um, make sure it is dairy free. Well, I can eat cheese, I just can't have milk. Um, hopefully it's okay. And then he will get a beer if it's fine for me to drink. I have been making my way through all the weird coffees in Vietnam, so we had an egg coffee in Hanoi, which I really didn't like. I didn't know it had condensed milk in it, so it made me feel a little bit ill. Um, I can eat eggs, but I didn't really like it. It was too sweet. Then I was having cashew condensed milk in a like, vegan Vietnamese coffee, which was quite nice. Much nicer iced, not hot. Um, and then we had a banana coffee in a vegan restaurant, which was good. Now I've got cream cheese coffee. I have seen coconut, I'm not a fan of coconut though. And that's quite popular here. Here we go, cream cheese coffee. <laughs> Looks a bit scary, but I'm gonna try it because I've had loads of weird coffees here already, so let's give this a go. No, not too shiny. Is that um, what about this one? Yeah, the pattern. Was that too bright? Is that pattern on it? Um, green. I think this green is really nice. That looks nice. Yeah, green. Don't do blue. Okay, let's try this one. Forest colour, forest green. Yeah, do green and black. For, forest green. Shall I pick this one? Green. Yeah. That looks yeah, nice. That's yeah, that's a very yeah, nice colour. Actually, that looks nice. Yeah, slide that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that ready. Can look there? No, 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 just no. <laughs> ready for it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, well, well. yeah, very nice. I like that. Yeah. yeah that's a good colour. That's a really nice colour. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Yeah. That's good. That's yeah, nice. That's yeah. yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so that's colours then. See here. Yeah, yeah that's, that's a really good idea. with the green there. Yeah, that's the, yeah. Very cool. Is this the only linings you have oh, that are yes, included? Yes, the only lining I have. Okay, okay, I'll go with that one for green. Yeah, this what one. What about this one? Little fox for... No, that's too much. The... No, not fox. I've just ordered two suits from this place. I don't know if you can see above my head, called Peace Taylor. Um, they initially said $100 US dollars per suit. We had them down to $185 for two suits. I'm not gonna get anything made, uh, but we do have to come back this evening for his first fitting, and then tomorrow they'll WhatsApp us to collect the actual suits themselves, so it's very exciting. We were gonna have lunch while we're out so that we don't end up eating in the hotel, but we're just not hungry yet. We're gonna go back to the hotel and just head straight to the pool, I think. We've yeah. just come back to try dress the suits on. Oh, thank you. Thanks. Thank you. And they even have um, shoes for you to try on as well. Like they're bringing his suits upstairs, similar to this one actually, a women's blazer. And it looks like they like have their own factory, and it's all done here too. Hopefully, it turns out nice. There you go. Wow. Trousers, are they not slim enough? I think I need a little bit slimmer. Yeah. But surprisingly, it's a good fit from here. It, I mean, they gave him a blue shirt just to try it all on, but... Um, yeah. I, need a I really like the colour, but the trousers, are too, be, they're too baggy. Like, loose. I mean, it's too loose. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's perfect, yeah. yeah. Do you need the trousers a bit shorter? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, short trousers. And I made them tighter. Yeah. All the way down. That's right, yeah. Nice colour. That really good colour, It's a yeah. really nice colour, yeah, I really like that, okay, it's yeah. different. But the part this is good. Yeah, the waist is good. Yeah, I think the waist is good, right? So she yeah. takes the chalk to mark the adjustments. Yeah. Oh, the lining looks yeah. really oh, good. Really yeah, yeah, that's yeah. nice. Yeah. Oh, that's that's that really good. That looks good. Yeah. This is definitely a better fit, right? Yeah. The top. Button it up, let's see. Oh, when yeah. I put the button hole, I can't take them anymore, you know? Oh, I see, okay. That's amazing, I'm really impressed actually, how you Don't put the button oh. through. Yeah, okay. That's a good fit. Yeah, yeah. so good. I think it's off. Face right? Yeah. Yeah, pocket square as well. Yeah, oh yeah. With the lining, that's nice. Yeah. What do you think? I'm, 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 I like it, I like the colour. See, I picked a I good like colour, didn't I? Oh, you get the credit? I do. I'm sure it's on camera. Style. I chose the colour, yeah. right? Yeah. Exactly, thank you. She does the measurements, 
Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And I think it looks good. Yeah, so this is Moon, who looked after us. At Peace Taylor's. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's been good, yeah. Yeah, I really like that lining. That looks really good. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah. Yeah? I thought that is yours. Yeah. Okay, will you get it? Thank you. Thank you. Guys, what the hell do you do when you want to get like one of everything on the menu? I really want bun cha because I don't think that's normally vegan. I've had a lot of bun co, so I don't want that. I love that though. Um, this looks so good. And then I really want cow lao because I've not had that yet either. And it's because we've not been having lunch just. And I really want the vegan beef bun me, but that's not a proper bun me, so I think I can live without that. <laughs> I really like that the menu is basically like a book. So it tells you um, how they set up and how they became vegan and their journey, which is at the beginning somewhere, um, and how it's run by three sisters. But then it also tells you about veganism and just like, everything about this place which is really cool a bit of reading material while you sit here in this cute little eatery yes i have just ordered three mains because i mean to share between the two of us but we didn't have lunch and i basically want to try everything um when in a vegan place when in vietnam right it comes with a little note love is worth but it is free for you this is the bun cha satay sauce okay so this is our buncha this is the vegan chicken rice which is made with tofu skin and a vegan beef bun mi sandwich and this is just a soup that you get with this mm. looks so good we're both stuffed we've only done almost two out of three dishes the buncha was my favorite the spring rolls are very oily could have done without them just liked the what's it called the chicken rice yep i didn't love that um i found it a bit oily again the tofu skin <sighs> so full i don't know how we're going to eat this beef sandwich i mean it looks really good but we're stuffed and we're not going to have the soup because the fly just committed suicide <laughs> in there as we were eating <laughs> the streets are lined here with kids playing badminton talking back to the hotel right but it's really crazy when you leave any side street from the old quarter cars and motorbikes are not allowed down there and um, so it's really nice and peaceful and the minute you leave there's all these taxi people here and like tourist sightseeing cars and it's just an entirely different vibe just from one area to the next mm, good morning it is 4 30 in the morning and the thunderstorm in hoi am just woke me up i mean it is absolutely chopping it down I have a feeling the beach trip this morning is not going to happen. Look at the rain. Good morning. Oh, I look rough today. I, I have been up since um, 4.20 this morning because it has been thundering, chucking it down. It is so loud it woke me up. I can't get back to sleep and it's almost 7 so I'm going downstairs for a coffee. Well, Jax is still knocked out. I think breakfast starts at 6.30. But I'm just going to look outside um, this window and show you the view. I need to be quiet up here before 8 a.m. But there we go. It doesn't look so bad out there from the window, but it's not a good day to go to the beach. The reception said that if it rains too much, they cancel the shuttle bus. And the other thing we were going to do was walk around the market. Again, it's raining and possibly go in a bamboo boat which again I don't think we can do so I'm not sure what we're gonna do today because it's our last full day in Hoi An I don't think we can go to the pool it's like raining so much <clears throat> I honestly feel like I have broken glass in my throat it really hurts it's the it's the air con and the ice and the fans um, and all the rest of it my throat is just not used to it 
But anyway, I'm rambling because I'm half asleep. This is not very flattering. I have not showered this morning because I showered when we got in last night, left my towel to dry on the balcony, and now that is completely soaked. <laughs> so I'm just going to go down and have a coffee and then sort my life out. <laughs> I've been sat here for about an hour. I accidentally ordered a cappuccino and then remembered that I didn't like it yesterday, but I finished it and I'm actually being sprayed by the rain. <laughs> it's so fierce and it's coming in at an angle. I'm wondering if I should move inside or go upstairs. The rain has finally stopped. I have not slept <laughs> and we are heading to the market in Hoi An. Not the night market, the staff here told us that the day one is far cheaper because it's not as like touristy. So we thought we'd go and explore, grab some lunch, pick up Jess's suits and just walk around the old town, right? Yep. We were gonna go to the beach this morning but they canceled the shuttle bus due to the rain. Um, I'm not sure if it's back on because it goes from this hotel, it's like a complimentary service but it only goes at 10, three, and then five, I think, and we need to be back at the tailor for three, and then I've just figured it's too late. So I don't think we're gonna make it to the beach, which is a shame. Just walking down towards the market now. Oh, I see it. It says Cho Hoi An. Probably pronouncing that completely wrong. I thought the camera's gonna pick this up, but are they dragonflies? What's that dragonflies coming? There's so many. Oh my God, it's kind of gross, actually. Hello. Would you like to buy something? Just looking, thank you. Yeah, have a look for that. Maybe, maybe. Oh my god, I'm sweating buckets. It is so warm in here. I don't know how people sit in here and work. They're very uh, pushy in here <laughs> and I'm just walking along. With well, this bit, it's fine. Like obviously the minute I pull out the camera, it's fine. I was like, no thank you, no thank you, no thank you, no thank you to like everyone. And I could hear like yeah, other British people saying the same thing. Oh, she cut it off. There she we left are. it long. No, it's all right. We've just bought a few bracelets and Jas wanted this um, tiger oh. bomb from this lady. Oh, she's going to singe it. Oh, to seal it, okay. Yeah. Singe my hair. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> Good, thank you. Brilliant, thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Have and a good day. And you too, have yeah. a good day. Good yeah. luck to you. We've just come to this um, vegetarian restaurant near the market called An Hai Che. Che actually means vegetarian here. Like we're a little bit hungry but not starving. So Jas is getting the um, dal, well the tofu with spicy and sour sauce which I think comes with rice and I'm getting the bun cha again because I absolutely loved that last time. This time I've remembered to say no Thai basil because I cannot stand that. These Jass's spicy and sour tofu with some rice. That's definitely fresh tofu. So here's my bun cha. I'm not sure what that is. I have to go back through looking at the menu, but noodles, sauce, tofu. I asked for no Thai basil. And that's Jas's. Looks like um, fresh tofu. Yeah. Um, with a spicy and sour sauce and rice. I've just realised that I've not been vlogging. I have been drinking instead. We came back to the hotel. I feel very bunged up. What is wrong with me? We came back to the hotel after going for Jas's final fitting for his suit. There's a few adjustments to be made. And then we thought we'd go into the pool, but it's like really overclassed. Overcast. I've already had one cocktail, can you tell? Let me show you. So no one's really in the pool. By the way, that's my favourite waiter. His name's Tang. He's really cute. Um, anyway, it's a bit grey and this pool's quite cold. It's not actually heated, which is a bit of a shame. I know we're in a hot country, but I would like it to be a little bit warmer, ideally. Yesterday, I was shivering in the pool. Um, but for the first time ever, we're actually at the hotel for happy hour. So I have just downed one margarita and I'm on my second one. Jas has got, what did you get? I went for some hoi colada. Hoi an colada. Hoi an colada, so it's very coconutty, it's not my vibe. It's quite nice. We would have only got one cocktail each, but they're happy hour, you have to order two of the same, and me and Jas have very different cocktail tastes. He <laughs> either likes whiskey, he have good taste. coconut, or anything I have good sweet. Drinks. She has some really weird ones. I have excellent yeah. taste. 
Anyway, he now has to go back to the tailor um, to pick up his suit. I was going to say about the tailoring in Hoi An, if you're here for a few days, I think it's fine. Um, if you're only here for a very limited time, it's quite time consuming all the trips you have to take back and forth to be measured because obviously you've paid like a deposit. You want to make sure that everything is perfect and if it's not, they send it back. So it's quite time consuming, which is why we didn't get to go on the coconut boats today or to the, well, the weather stopped us from going to the beach. Um, and we leave tomorrow. So yeah kind of got changed into my pajamas before i decide what i'm wearing tonight but the hotel left us a platter of fruit i'm also quite tipsy <laughs> they left us a platter of fruit on our first night we haven't touched it this i've discovered is called a jujube i've never eaten one so i've just washed oh that's my hair on here what do i do one second I'm back i'm gonna try it on camera do you eat the skin i think you mm. eat the skin Looks like a honey apple. A bit bland. <laughs> That's disappointing. It tastes of nothing. <laughs> How is for no reason? See, I like fruit, but my worst fruit is an apple. It has the texture of an apple, but it's not sweet. It tastes of literally nothing. That's weird. We also have rambutan and something else. I don't know what that is, but there's no knife. I love rambutan, by the way. <laughs> I don't know how to ride a bike. Come on. You're getting warmed up or what? I've forgotten how to ride a bike. A seat. Can I lower the seat? Yes, you can. How? Let's try it. Don't fall into the river. There she goes. Bye. I don't know how much of me riding a bike just captured, but this is the first or second time I've actually ridden a bike properly as an adult. And basically it's kind of like riding a bike, but <laughs> it started raining. And so we ditched the bike. Well, back at the hotel, they have a free rental service. We went back to go and get an umbrella because I figured that I can't navigate rain and a bike and Birkenstocks and heat and all the rest of it that comes with all of this. So this hotel looks like it has a rooftop bar, but I'm not entirely sure. So we're gonna go and investigate because we can see this from our balcony. Oh, someone's dropped their keys. Anyway, here. We do have a rooftop bar. Here we go, Jess. Wow, it's so windy. Yeah. But yeah. It's a heavy, windy, and heavy, and yeah. Like oh, that. I see. Thank you. That's a shame, isn't it? Yeah. Guys, right. It's so windy here. We came up to this rooftop bar to have a drink before dinner and just see the views. I mean, the views are stunning, but like, look at my hair. What is happening here? It's, can you even hear me? It's really, really windy, but I'll show you the view. I think he's waiting for us to leave because it's all like packed up. There we go. That's the uh, river. Beautiful hotel, actually, and they've got a rooftop pool as well. Cheers. So, we have vegetable dumplings to start. I should have said we're in um, a restaurant called Morning Glory Signature, which is a very popular restaurant here, but so far, I don't know. Now just at the night market, wandering around. We were warned not to buy anything here because it's more expensive. But we can have a quick look. Wow. Good morning. It's our last morning in Hoi An. <gasps> My feet are soaked. The balcony is so wet. The rain, oh, it's so humid. It's so wet. The rain comes in at all angles. And yeah, it's a wet day. Good morning, it's our final morning in Hoi An. It's another wet, rainy morning, it's chucking it down. I wanted to go for a little bike ride this morning, but not in the rain. We are heading down to breakfast. 
Um, and then we're leaving at midday. We went out for dinner last night. Oh, it's so humid. Look at this. Whoa, it's all foggy. <sighs> out for dinner last night to this um, restaurant called Morning Glory Signature, which people rave about. And honestly, we weren't impressed at all, were we? Yeah, I think I've had I, one. There's two, I think. Morning Glory Original, which is probably the one that we should have went to. This one wasn't that good. Yeah, it wasn't. It was actually really bad service. The food options. I think I'm actually just quite bored of Vietnamese food. I'm turning my camera off because it keeps getting all fogged up in the humidity. But I was saying that... I think I'm just a bit bored of Vietnamese food, and I don't know why. Partly because it's all been really bland, um, and it just doesn't really have flavour, but also as a vegetarian, I've literally been having the same five or six meals on repeat for just over a week now, and it can get a little bit boring. I haven't seen anything like Korean or Japanese or Thai or anything like that, actually. But the food in Hoi An in particular, apart from this hotel, hasn't been good. Hanoi was a lot better, but now my glasses are all steamed up. Oh my God, it is so hot. I've got a whole platter of fruit this morning. I love bamboo tan. Um, I don't think their watermelon here is very sweet. Somebody finished all the dragon fruit, so of course I couldn't get any papaya for the first time here. This is called rose apple, and it looked really interesting, and it had a pot of sugar next to it. But I've just come to realise I think it's just apple. I don't think it's anything special. What was it called? Rose apple, but it, ha it has a pot of brown sugar next to it. All oh, right. It's really weird. Obviously I didn't get that. Um, these bananas are the best bananas I've ever had in my whole entire life. And they're so tiny, they're so cute. Cutting it really fine, we have 56 minutes to go for this little bike ride I wanna go for. <laughs> Come back, finish packing. Well, only number one. Uh, finish packing. Bring our luggage downstairs, check out of the hotel, settle the bill, call a taxi and leave for the airport. 56, probably 55 minutes now. I want to just quickly cycle to the old town and back just because I think it'll be really fun. And I don't think I'll be, I definitely won't be cycling in Ho Chi Minh, which is our next stop, because traffic is meant to be mental there. we've just been for a bike ride it was very short-lived it started raining and now my hair is about to frizz up I'm standing in front of the air conditioning this is why I'm still ill and keep feeling really ill it's really nice to be out on a bike until it started raining and um, we've just packed up our bags and we're about to check out of the hotel and leave I don't think I got any footage I can't ride one-handed I didn't take my vlog camera out Jas did film a couple of clips on his 360 camera but I don't know how to edit that it's very confusing I never use the footage from that so you may not see anything anyway <laughs> I'll be on Instagram stories though I'm really sad to be leaving actually I love a resort hotel our first one in Hanoi was definitely like a three-star budget not great hotel this one has been really really nice I think it's a five it might have dropped down to a four-star really excellent our next one i think is a four fingers crossed it's nice um very different vibe though because it's not like a resort or near a beach not that we went to the beach anyway oh my god it is properly chucking it down and we had to walk down the long path to leave the hotel the hotel is so cute they gave um us a little packet of cookies saying like thank you for staying with us and, you especially and it was like really beautifully like packaged and then i had a favorite waiter called tang who was just like the cutest man ever he was just supplying me with all the margaritas yesterday and every time he saw me in the restaurant for breakfast or the one dinner that we had he'd like pull out the vegan and the vegetarian menu and just bring me all the food he was just so nice um and i went to find him at the end just to give him a tip and he gave me a little present he gave me a little card that opens up like a lotus i'm gonna film it at the airport because i'm surrounded by luggage but i wasn't expecting that like normally you tip people you don't get anything back it was just the cutest thing it was also really embarrassing because the whole hotel lobby was so full the people checking in and out at the same time and i was like thanks oh he was so sweet anyway we're now on our way to the airport goodbye hoi an
Is that grilled? Grilled chicken or uh, fried? Grill number 10. But that's not spicy, is it? Yeah, not spicy. Not spicy. Well, I want it spicy. Just, spicy. just get nine. nine. Oh, is it? Okay, number nine. Just arrived at the Nang Airport and I saw on somebody's vlog or read it on their blog, I don't really remember, but there's a Burger King here and it was excellent. Um, I just wanted to get some chips because I think I was saying earlier, I'm a little bit bored of Vietnamese food. They do a veggie burger, so I am having a full on lunch, which is fine because our flight is at three o'clock and so it's lunchtime now anyway. Really, really excited, but I got a bottle of water and apparently you can take these through security. This is before security at the airport. Um, Definitely UK prices for Burger King because a meal and just a separate burger cost us just over £11, but whatever. I'm getting a veggie burger, guys. I'm so excited for this. This is really weird. You get ice cream <laughs> with it. Who knew? Well, Jess, awesome. you're having that. It's a veggie whopper with cheese. Jess got a chicken burger. We're sharing Thank the rest. you. Thank you very much. Um, you get ketchup and chilli sauce. Oh, this is exciting. My hair is actually wild. Look at my hair dress. Um, we're at Da Nang Airport. We've got a little bit of time to kill. I'm glad. I'm glad I got that Burger King. That was really nice. I think I might have said it was vegan. It's not. She was asking me if I wanted the mayo, I realised, because not all vegetarians eat egg. Um, because the burger was actually just like mozzarella dippers. Although it wasn't mozzarella, like cheese dippers or something like that. It was still very nice. I'm not complaining. But we have about 20 minutes until we board for our flight to Ho Chi Minh so I'm going to leave this vlog here and I will see you in my next one. Bye!